This is a sneak peek of Singapore mathematics. When you receive Singapore, you will receive a workbook, textbook, teacher's guide, and a, a book of tests. There are two sections, um, two semesters in this program, an A and a B, each consisting of 18 weeks. Uh, we are looking at third grade today, so I've got a 3A and a 3B. We're going to look inside the 3B set today, starting with the um, teacher's guide. The most important thing I found in the teacher's guide is going to be your scheme of work. This is going to give you the layout you need of how to guide your instruction each week. You'll see you've got your weeks split up. You've got what you're expected to do that week, your five lessons for each week. You've got where to go in the guidebook, what pages to refer to in the guidebook, in the workbook, and in the textbook. Um, the guidebook, the textbook, and the workbook all go hand in hand um, together. So you're gonna, you'll be wanting these three books out and ready each day. Let's take a look at the first lesson. So I'm just starting here with number one, week one, day one, Monday. I'm gonna go to pages three and four in the guide. We're gonna look at page seven in the workbook and eight through 10 in the textbook. What you are looking at in the guidebook um, and discussing as the teacher, your child will also be looking at in his or her own textbook. So um, let me just show you the text or the guidebook here first. You'll have your activities of what you can do with your student, um, discussion, another activity, um, and then some practice problems with the answer key right there, ready for you to refer to um, when you go into the, the practice uh, tasks. So as you are being the instructor reading your directions, the student has flipped to their section in their workbook and they are also reading along um, in their textbook as you are reading from the teacher's guide. So this is what the student textbook looks like and you'll see there's explanation, there's example problems, and then it goes into a breakdown of a problem and then finally into answering problems of their own, practice problems. And these are the practice problems that I am referring to um, when you get to the practice part in the teacher's guide and the answers to those practice problems are there for you already. So that's going to be your direct instruction. You'll notice too that um, at the end of each uh, segment here, there's a little pen and this is kind of your stopping point, a cue to stop here and now go to exercise one, page seven. So again, after they've done their direct instruction with you, they've done their practice problems, now they're going into their workbook and really reinforcing those skills by doing their practice page on their own in their workbook. Sometimes it's only one page, sometimes you'll get a front and a back, um, but it's not, the worksheets are not that extensive. After so many exercises, um, you will have a chance uh, for practice problems. That would be in the textbook here. There are practice uh, problems, so if your child is struggling or if they just need you know, that extra um, practice in, in certain skills, there's practice pages provided. There's also reviews that are scattered throughout. And the review, um, what's different about the review is the review actually goes way back into previous skills that were taught. Uh, so it's not just what the student is learning in the last few days, but actual skills that have been taught quite a while ago. So this is where that spiral 
effect comes in where they're having to still really um, hone in on previous taught skills. So they have reviews, practice in the textbook. They also give you reviews in the in the workbook. And then in the workbook is where after they do their review in the workbook, before they go into the next unit, which again would start over again with exercise one, um, before they go into their next unit, they'll want to, you'll want to have them take their test. And so that's where you'll get out your big book of tests and you'll find that um, each chapter has a test that you can use. That can be optional. Um, but uh, what I saw probably to be most important to me is that they have the accumulative test. So you're working on all the previous units um, and the skills that have been taught. So you have your whole bunch of tests here. Your answer keys you will find at the end of the testing guide. And that reminds me, um, for all your workbook answers, you will find in your teacher's guide as well. Usually, it tells you where they can be found. So exercise answers will be found on page 24. So I'll flip there for you. And um, you can see right here, they have all the answers to the the uh, workbook pages for you to refer to. So that is a sneak peek of Singapore um, mathematics and how your day would look like. If this is something that interests you and you'd like to talk further about it, please give me a call. Star Williams at 503-758-3636.